I apologise if you felt that I peer pressured you into coming out. I my point is, I did. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Jack. Hey, I'm Ben, and this is it's way too juicy. So let's get straight into this mess. But before we do, we will be uploading our next Q and A video next Wednesday. Woohoo! We want you to send through any questions that you may have to our Twitter account at Our Swirl Life. Personally, I thought Twitter had died, so it's going to be very interesting to see how many of you are actually on Twitter. I heard it's quite a lot. So I was scrolling through Instagram this week, as yes. you do, and came across my favourite account, Love Sex in LA. If you don't follow them, hello! What did the post for this week say? Have you ever dated, or would you ever date, a guy in the closet? I am so ready to hear some of the comments on this post. I'm just... Are you though? Yeah. Are you ready? <laughs> After the date, he told me, if we meet on the streets, don't talk to me. <laughs> what? Don't talk to me. Oh. Um. Okay. Did it once, never again, incredibly stressful. That's fair. Depends on the circumstances and if he's willing to commit at some point. Ooh. Shall I kick off on this topic? Yes, I think you should. Yeah. First things first. Jack actually lied to me. I know, so I didn't lie. <laughs> no shade. I was ready to drop it. We met on day one that we matched on Tinder. Day two, we moved in together, you guys know this. We probably need to do a video about that in the future, actually, yeah. about how that actually happened. Within the time that we were talking, you told me that you were out to your friends and family, which turned out to be a lie. So my question to you, Jack, spotlight on yeah, you. No, no. Ding. Why did you feel the need to lie to me about being out of the closet when you were actually in the closet still? I was actually lying to myself for 21 years, so lying to you for two Ooh. days. Lying to you for two days was no skin off my nose. But here's me, not even knowing that your friends didn't know you were gay. So I'm kind of like walking in the room like, yes, like I'm his man, like whatever. Wait, and his friends are probably looking at me just like, what the hell? No, like, who, no, 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 no. Who is this random black man just like in our house all the time? For a lot of people, the point to coming out, you go through so much and you, you come out to like your friends, your family, and you've got like this emotional like journey and you're just like, thank goodness that's over, never again. If you're then with someone who's in the closet, you're kind of putting yourself in that closet with them. You're going through all of that emotional okay. journey again. But then on the flip side, because you were out of the closet and you wanted to be out of the closet, you wanted to pull me out of the closet. No, no, you, no, you, you don't, don't lie. You don't lie here. to them, you don't lie to them. Here. I will come with receipts. You literally said, <laughs> no. I don't know if I can continue this. And I was like, well, do you know what? I really like you. This is in my head now. I really like you. I really want to be in a relationship with you. So then I told my parents. Yeah, but that that's is what happened. Yeah, 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 and yeah. that was because I felt emotionally bribed by you. In my eyes, this is one of the big issues with dating someone in the closet. Because I had almost fallen in love with you, I don't think I was in love with you, but I was falling in love with you, I wasn't peer pressuring you. I was getting ready to cut you. Like, I was that's getting... the peer pressure. No. That's the peer pressure. No, that's not peer pressure. That's no. peer pressure. So how else would you have wanted me to do it? Because I was essentially saying to you, I don't want to be with you if you're going to be in the closet. Which so, I think, no, 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 no. So, if you want me to be with you, come out of the closet. No, that's, that's not That's not what I was saying. No, I think it's very fair for me to say, I don't want to go through this emotional drama. Like, I'm, I'm in the process of going up the hill of like falling in love with you, and I'm very willing to stop myself here and walk backwards because I don't want the drama. I don't want to see like your parents reject you and then have to like, hide in public, I don't want your your friends to hate you. Don't look at me like that! I'm being very honest. Like, I was looking for somebody. I know you are. I know you're being honest. I, I was. No, no, I'm not finished. Oh. <laughs> you're about to be finished. <laughs> I would not have wanted to put you through that emotional strain of trying to take me with you when ultimately I would have been like, bruh, I can't do this. Like, I, I don't want to be here like crying. Wow, this got deep real quick. I'm about to cry. You know, in this relationship, the one of our biggest phrases that we use is relationships are supposed to be fun. Yes. That's why we travel so much. That's why we've set up this YouTube channel. Like we, we have so much fun in our relationship and try to enjoy every single day because if you're not having fun, then what's, what's the, the point? point? Why are we so in sync? With that being said, why, Mr. Jack, would you have been willing for me to be present in a relationship if I didn't enjoy it as a result of you being in the closet? So you're telling me in that first month, you didn't enjoy it every single day? I... Girl! <laughs> 
Shut up. No, you tell me. <laughs> Did you enjoy every single day? Yes, I enjoyed every single day. I feel like this is actually a very, very tricky question to answer. Yeah. Because it depends on both people's circumstances. Okay. So, for example, for me, when we first met, I'd been in London for two months, something yeah. like that. So, for me, walking down the street, holding your hand, giving you a kiss in public, doing any of that, yeah. there was no... that it, I wasn't stopped, I wasn't held back by that, even though I was still in the closet. If we were living in Wales, in my parents' town, yeah. you would not be able to kiss or hold hands in public if you were in the closet. Very true, because everyone knows everyone's business. Especially... A black man and a white man, no shade. Um, a lot of people ask my parents things. And... Yes. Who is that black man that I've seen Jack with in town? Literally. It's not... In fact, no, they actually said, who is that beautiful black man, no shade. <laughs> I will actually vouch for everything you've just said. Don't forget, the first time that both of us went to that the gay bars in London was the first date we had together. Yeah, that's true. So it's kind of like we almost dared each other and pushed each other out of that closet. No, <clears> your <throat> dancing pushed you out of that closet super hard. I try and embarrass me in front of YouTube. You, your dancing then he knocked me out of the closet. <laughs> At least I can dance to a beat, I'm just saying. So maybe that's an example of when dating someone that's in the closet can actually be a good thing. Oh, shame, wait, give me that phone. Thank you. I am ready to see what the comment section says. Right. I know a lot of you are dating people in the closet. Even if you're a straight girl dating a potentially bisexual man, we know that a lot of you are going to be living this exact thing we've just discussed. And some of you might be the people who are in the closet dating someone. So juicy. So the question is, have you ever dated or would you date a guy who's in the closet? Let us know down below. Peace. Don't forget to tweet us your questions at Our Swirl Life. Babe, I'm really sorry, but I've got some bad news. This is the first birthday that Jack is having where he's not seeing his family. Are you sad? Hey, well, do you know what? Just